Welcome back, you beautiful people. We are Gemma and Campbell, and this week you are joining us in sunny Malta. That's right, we have finally made it on holiday, and we're going to be spending the next two weeks exploring around this beautiful island, trying out local food, seeing all of the best sites, and trying to stay out of trouble, which of course never happens. For the last four years now, we have been living life on the road, exploring some unbelievably wacky and wonderful sites all across the world, from Ireland all the way to Indonesia. During this time, we spent 12 months living and working in Australia, where we converted our first camper van, Roxy the Highest, and toured around for six months, falling in love with van life and the freedom that it provides. At the end of 2019, we took a trip home to surprise our families with the intention of heading back to Australia right before that blooming sea word all kicked off. Anyway, as 2022 begins, and as the world reopens with life returning to normal, we decided that it was time to leave our motorhome early and embark on our first international trip in two years to the sunny island of Malta. A very relaxing and laid back holiday in the sun, right? Oh my god, jellyfish everywhere! What have you just done, Gemma? That is annoying. Okay, so that didn't go as planned at all. We wish. You join us this week as we settle into island life, exploring the ancient sites and the beautiful coastline that the island of Malta has to offer. We discover one of the most beautiful beaches that we have ever seen, wander through the fascinating silent city of Medina, and admire a stunning sunset over the capital of Valletta. So kick back and relax as we take you on a Highlands to Hammocks tour of this beautiful island. Well guys, we have officially found paradise here in Malta, and it is known as Paradise Bay. What are we thinking, babe? Kick off a Malta trip with a nice swim? Can't say no, can I? Look at that water! It's so clear, so blue. Let's Got get to in. Do it. <laughs> jellyfish! Oh. oh, there's loads of them! Oh my god! Jellyfish everywhere! Oh god! Oh no! Okay, so turns out that actually there's hundreds of little jellyfish in there. Like, hundreds. As in, I thought it was just bits of seaweed, but I think it was stung me as well. Yeah, my legs are oh, on there's fire. One right there. Big one. My legs are on fire right now. That did not go to plan. High five for effort. <laughs> What's your feet? I know. Okay, so that didn't go as planned at all. So we've been in Malta now for a few days and we've just kind of been settling in. We've rented a scooter, we're just exploring our local area, eating lots of good pizza. A lot of pizza. But after all that chilling out, we are very much ready to get back out and there's a lot to see and do here in Malta. So we're excited to bring you guys along with us. What's really impressive is that Gemma's gone and managed to find a Michelin Man costume right here in Malta. It's funny, the temperature fluctuates like so much. Like I was literally just in my bathing suit going, oh this is so nice if it's sunbathed. But as soon as you step out into the wind, even just like at night when it's darker, it does get a bit chilly. So yeah, this to, has been a lifesaver. We had to go and do a brief shopping trip with Gemma just to get her that jacket because if you watch the last video, we very much struggled to actually stay under our luggage limit. So have fun getting this home. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get this home. So we have actually been to Malta before and the last time we were here, we stayed in Salima and we rode the bus around everywhere on an unlimited pass. However, we didn't quite have the freedom that we've got this time. Hop on, little lady. So you can get used to seeing a lot of Campbell driving because he is terrified to be a passenger. I'm, I mean, I'm not terrified. I'm just a little bit of a control freak when it comes to driving. <laughs> But yeah, one of the main reasons why we actually decided to rent a scooter this time was just because of parking. Like, it wasn't that much more expensive to actually rent a car. However, I think parking would just have been a nightmare, whereas a scooter, anywhere you can see a space, basically, as long as you park, kind of facing into the kerb, then it's okay. Okay, so I was just going to show you guys where we store our bike helmets, which is a lot better than what we had in Bali, because in Bali, you basically just hung your helmet over the handlebars to get stolen. Here we've actually got a box at the uh, box at the back of the bike where we put our helmets. However, what have you just done, Gemma? <sighs> well, I've just gone to open it and the keys snapped. How many days have we had this for now? Three days. Yeah, that is annoying. Yeah, that's gone. What a bloody nightmare. All right, well, I guess we'll be wearing our helmets around Medina then. Pew, pew. 
So our first stop out of St Paul's Bay is going to be the town of Medina, which is known as the Walled City. And if you're a Game of Thrones kind of fanatic like us, you'll recognise it from the King's Landing entrance in Series 1. Really beautiful city, lots of history, and I can't wait to explore around it. Yeah, I love how unique it is here. I'd say I've not really been anywhere else in the world that's quite like it. Really, really historical buildings, and I like all the yellow colours as well. It like, makes it really like bright in summary, it's nice. But I am absolutely starving now, so it's time to go and get some food. There are so many cute little birds just like dancing around alongside our table. And I think some people are feeding them, which is why there's, there's, so, many there's so many of them. But they're so cute. They're so tiny. There's one here. How good does that look? It looks amazing. I'm not going to lie. I got it and I was a bit like, is that meat? Because I, I actually asked for the traditional Maltese, not sure if I'm going to say it right, fatira. And um, it does come with like sausage in it, but um, they said to me that they could like make it vegetarian. So <laughs> it's that way I'm like looking at it like, what is that? What is the alternative? But it does, it looks really tasty. The bread looks amazing. So I'll give it a shot. I think it could be like an aubergine paste. That might be the alternative. So it's cold, soft, crunchy roll, but soft insides. I feel like it's all gonna spill out when I bite into it. But it tastes really good. I think it's got like feta, or maybe not feta. I don't know what it is, sun-dried tomatoes, some kind of cheese. It's like goat's cheese. And that could be right. I, on the other hand, went for the spinach and ricotta pie. And also it seems that we can't have lunch without our little friends wanting some as well. I actually can't believe how reasonably priced that was. Given that the actual size of the portions, I was expecting to go in there and have to actually sell a kidney, <laughs> how fancy it is. But it came to what, £12.50? £12.50, I just got dinged on my yeah, phone. Yeah, so for a big pie and a huge like big roll thing so yeah that was actually really good and it's also opened my eyes to the fact that maybe if you just mention that you're a vegetarian or vegan or whatever that they can actually like alter meals for you because they were fine with that they said yeah, yeah that's fine we can like um, make yeah. one for you a vegetarian so yeah that's good to know so the plan now i think we're gonna go a little wander around medina just explore and see what we can actually find and yeah i really like this city so it's gonna be good fun Such a fascinating place, like, um, yeah, I love it, I really do. I think what's the most interesting part of it for me is the fact that like people actually live inside that city, yeah. you know, we're wandering around and it says like, please respect the locals, you know, don't just go, I guess, clambering into people's houses and just imagine that being your house. I know, it's mental, like you kind of get up here and you feel a bit like that's just like almost castle grounds. Mm -hmm but it's not like that it is, is actually, the city. Yeah. It, like, it's quite bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. We've explored all there is to really see around there though, so I think we're gonna head back to the hotel, maybe have a little shower because I have got a serious chill in me from having lunch up on that balcony. Yeah. And yeah, I need to heat up somehow. We also need to see if we can get something done about that bike box. Rather than you having to carry a helmet around for the rest of your life. Definitely. Oh, it's just, do you know, it's so frustrating, like, I, ah! I'm not going to let it ruin my day. <laughs> yeah, and so this guys, if you didn't watch our last video, is our humble abode. It's pretty comfortable. It's a mess. Huge. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very messy. Got a huge double bed, lovely balcony views which we can see the sea from and a very nice shower as well, which I'm about to hop into to try and heat up. So for dinner, um, we're gonna go back to one of the pizza places that we've actually been to before, because why not? We've basically been living off of pizza for the past week, and this is probably one of the best pizzas we've actually found in Malta so far. <laughs> Hello. So cute, there's like cats everywhere. I basically spend a lot of my mornings just cat spotting from our balcony.
never disappoints, does it? I'm so excited for this. So excited. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, since we got here, we've literally been living off of margarita pizzas and I'm not even sorry. Like, that is just so tasty. I mean, it's just the crust is just like so light and fluffy. Look at that doughiness. And so, home sweet home. I think it's time for bed. We got time on our side. We're in a state of home. I need you on my fire. I want you to know. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, another beautiful day here in Malta, and it seems that the city never actually sleeps. These guys over there have literally been hard at work since about half past six this morning. And um, so, as usual, we wake up around them. How are you feeling today, Princess? Tired. Tired. I think that wind took it out of me yesterday. I definitely think we're not used to like full days of adventures like we did yesterday. The days before that, we we're just kind of lying by the pool, lying by the sea, relaxing a lot of the time, and then bam, 7 a.m. until about 9 p.m. all in one day. It literally exhausted us. Plans for today, we've got a few things on the agenda. First of all, we need to go and sort out this scooter, and um, so cross your fingers for us there. Hopefully we don't need to sacrifice our 100 euro deposit. And then after that, we're gonna go and check out a couple of sites just around the local area. All of that is, of course, however, after I can get this one out of bed. Let's go, come on. Well, at least that's that sorted. Whether we'll get our deposit back or not, who knows? He mentioned something about 50 euros someone else paid, so we just need to wait and see. Anywho, on to the next site. So since we are both feeling pretty tired today after a full-on day of adventures yesterday, we decided to be big kids and go to the aquarium. Well, that was fun. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? I do always love going to aquariums just because, I don't know, it's the water I just find so relaxing. Yeah. But I'm starving now. We saw a crepe place not far from here, and so we're going to go and check out and see if we can get anything there for lunch. So what are you thinking? Well, there's only one vegetarian option, so I reckon we go for that. There's also a good selection of sweet crepes, which, you know, it'd be rude not to, I guess. So one of each. We'll get one of each. Savoury and a sweet. That sounds good. delicious and I have to say the range of choice that they had was really really good we were used to just going to like cafes where we might get waffles like breakfast waffles where it's just like a waffle Nutella strawberries but in there you could get like we had white chocolate sauce Nutella Kinder Bueno flake and the waffle was so soft like it tasted like really really fresh it wasn't like you know they just had them in the back that they heated them up it tasted like they had just cooked it oh it was just like Honestly, so good. Okay, well, as if today wasn't relaxing enough, we've got one more activity in mind that is going to be the perfect way to round off the day. So we have come into the Sanya Eco Spa and we're treating ourselves to a luxury kind of detox for two package, which of course includes lunch and a smoothie. I know what you're thinking, we just had those crepes, but how could you say no to this? Doesn't that just look amazing? And it's a vegan Indonesian curry, which, flashing back to Indonesia, like I love, love all of that food. I'm very excited for this. Okay, so not really the attire you guys are used to seeing me in, but in the spa, we've also got access to a steam room, sauna, jacuzzi, 
and a big swimming pool, which we're gonna go and chill out in for the next hour before it comes time for our 55 minute aromatherapy massage. I can't wait, it's gonna be so nice. In theory, jacuzzis are always a really nice thought, but practically... I think it's what's nice about coming to a place like this is it's just so different from the last time we actually came to Malta. Um, we stayed at Sliema last time, whereas this time we're in St Paul's Bay, and it's just a completely different experience. Why is it getting so dark? <laughs> Something that we just love so much about a spa day is it really is the one time when we actually chill out. And it's perfect when you're on a holiday where you're busy and you're out and about exploring new places to just have a day in between and just go to the spa, relax, get a massage, go for a swim. It feels good. And now it's time for the main event where we're going to get a 55 minutes aromatherapy massage and are you excited babe? Yeah. Wait, so excited. So we'll see you guys when it's over. Oh, that honestly was the most relaxing thing of my entire life. Did you enjoy that, Jim? Gemma? I think she's falling asleep. I honestly think I'm the oiliest thing on the planet. Like, that's ridiculous. I need, I need to go and have a shower. This is the joys of going on a shopping trip. And trying to put it all <laughs> in the right. <laughs> Oh goodness. Went to the shops, pick up some snacks. We've come down to Valletta just to admire the sunset. But we don't want to carry the helmets around, so we've got a bike full of shopping and nowhere to put it. And so we're just gonna round off the day basically by admiring the beautiful view from Valletta. Like it is absolutely stunning. Look at that. We've got some strawberries in the Lido on the way through here. And yeah, it's a perfect way to round it off. So if you want to see more videos just like this one, guys, we're going to be checking out more of Valletta next week. Hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And we'll see you next Saturday. See ya.